Hi, it's Alicia Little, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to register a domain name, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to forward that domain name to your affiliate link. So if you have an affiliate link for any program that you're an affiliate of, you wanna register a domain name to help hide that affiliate link and give people an easy URL to get to in order to go to that place you wanna send them to. All right, so let's get started. I'm at DomainDiving.com. I want you to go to the same place, www.DomainDiving.com, just how it looks right here. And I want you to click on Create Account. So the first step is to create your Domain Diving account. It's really simple. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions and create this account. I think I have 380 domain names in here. I know, a lot, right? So it's your turn. Create your domain diving account. Now, once you've created your account, you'll see that you'll log in and mine says, welcome back, Alicia. So now what I can do is I can search for a domain name and purchase it with ease. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for a domain name. I'm gonna say blog start uh blogstart.com right and let's search to see if it's available so i'm now clicking i put the the domain name there i click the search button and it's going to search to see if that domain name is available if it is available it will allow me to purchase it if it's not available i will be able to see some other options on things that i can purchase so it says sorry blogstart.com is not available uh, so I can see some other options, start.blog, that's a premium domain name, but I can see blogstart.blog or blogbegin.com. Really, blogstart.co is available and .tv is available, so you might want to look at those two, .xyz, geez, that's so cheap, $1.99, but what I want to do is I want to come back up a little bit and right here where it says extensions, I want to just say .com. I just want to look at the .coms. So it has blog begin, blog dawn, blog initiate, blog beginning, blog new start. So you can see some of the other results it's going to kick back to me because the one that I wanted was not available. So let me just show you an example. Oh, um, this one I had done earlier, blogquickstart.com. It was available, so I went ahead and selected it. You can see that. So blogquickstart.com, if it's available, it'll tell you to select it. I selected it, and now I can go ahead and register that domain name. It'll give you a good price to register the .net, the .info, and the .org. Why would you want these three? Well, if I was going to, you know, maybe set up social media um, handles for each page. And I wanted to say, all right, to go to Facebook, just go to blogquickstart.info. And if I was to set up, you know, some sort of organization with it, I tell them to go to the .org. So you can see it's pretty cheap to grab all three if you want to grab some more. And if you want to grab some of the similar domains, because what happens is that you'll tell someone, go to blogquickstart.com and they'll type in blog quick starts, right? Or they'll type in something similar. So you might wanna get the plural and select it and add it to your cart. So for like my blog, I have the .com, the .info, the .net, the .biz. You know, I got all of the major extensions. So you'll have to make the decision on what you want to get and how much you wanna protect yourself. So especially when you're getting your name, I recommend getting all the extensions so no one can try to siphon traffic from your name by getting the .info or the .biz. All right, so now we're at blogquickstart.com. I selected it, it's in my cart, and I'm gonna click Continue to Cart. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at some of the other options of the things that I can get and to add on to this domain name. Now the first thing that they've said is that they've added privacy to my domain name. And you probably heard of this before, that domain names need to have privacy protection on them so that if someone searches your domain name, they can't see your details, like all your registration details for who register that domain name and stuff. So. I'm going to leave privacy protection on at $9.14 per year. That's like 70 cents a month. It's very cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. 
The privacy and business protection, if you are registering a business domain name, you'd want to look at that. The Linksys web hosting, I'm going to skip this. You can see it's really cheap, $2.49 a month, especially if you want to install WordPress, if you want a cPanel. It's for hosting and for, for building your website, but we're not going to do that for now because the reason we're, we're registering this domain name is to point it to an affiliate link, okay? Then it says add an email to your domain name. So if I wanted alicia at blogquickstart.com, I could do that. Now I do this, I get an email address for a lot of my domain names, but for this one, I'm going to skip it and say no thanks. And then click on continue with these options. The next page in the shopping cart with some other options, it's gonna ask me which credit card you know, payment method that I want to use to pay for the payment. It's going to show me my billing information. On the right hand side, it's my .com domain registration. It's going to default at two years. I can pick one year, three year, five year, 10 years. We always say to pick two years because as as much as I've heard this my whole life in internet marketing, people always say like if you register one year, the search engines don't really think you're serious with this domain name, so it's usually better to, to do two years. If you're an affiliate marketer, you want to make sure that your promotions, you know, the domain name stays live for the maximum amount of time. So at least do two years for that. And then you're going to come down here to um, the domain name privacy. It's going to indicate two years. Now, the only way to change this domain name privacy to two years is if you register the .com at one year. Let me show you how this changes. So you register the .com at one year and the privacy then um, changes to one year. Did you see how that changed? <laughs> so that's how you would change it. If you move this to 10 years, then the domain name privacy changes to 10 years. So it just depends on how far you're going to go with this domain name, what you're going to pick, how long it's going to last. And then you're also going to make sure that, um, you know, you've got your payment method in and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this purchase. It says it's processing. So it went ahead and it sent me a receipt and it, it indicates what email address it sent the receipt to. And then now all I wanna do is go to my account. See where it says all your purchase products are available in my account. So I wanna click on go to my account. And now in my account, I'm gonna search for the domain name. There we go, blogquickstart.com. And I have found it. And now what I'm going to do, let's just select that domain name. That's the one that we want to work with. And it's set to automatically renew. That's fantastic. Um, I love this. It says your, your contact information is private. This is how it'll appear to people who search for the contact information of the person who owns that domain name. And then never risk losing your domain name, add domain ownership protection. So auto renew and domain lock, they're on for me, right? So you can see that both of those are on. So that's perfect. Checked all the domain settings. I'm gonna go back to the domain name. Let's go back. And I'm gonna click on the drop down menu and I'm gonna click on forward domain. All right, now what I'm going to do, it's going to show me the records and the name servers and forwarding. And you can just see some other stuff that's here, add premium DNS. So where it says forwarding, domain not set up, I'm going to click add. And then it's going to forward. It's going to ask you if it's permanent or temporary and if it's forward only or forward with masking. So forward with masking means that in the URL, they will never see the website of the company that they're going to. So if I wanted blogquickstart.com to always appear in the, in the top 
and it will never go to the affiliate link or to the original URL of the page that I'm at, then I would pick, pick forward with masking. So I, that means I don't want them to see any other URL than blogquickstart.com. So let me go ahead and get this URL that I'm going to forward to. All right, so I've gone ahead and I have pasted my affiliate link in here that I want the domain to forward to. Now you can see that they already have the HTTP dot dot colon colon forward slash forward slash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete it here. Um, and that is my affiliate link there. The forward type, it will be permanent. The settings, do I want forward only or forward with masking? Although I do pick forward with masking a lot. In this case, I'm just gonna pick forward only. And then I'm gonna click update my name servers and DNS settings to support these changes. So for those of you who want forward with masking, when would I choose this? Just to recap, if I wanted when you went to this website that you would never see the company that I'm forwarding my affiliate link to, you would only see my URL that whole time. So it appears as if the website is called blogquickstart.com the whole time, then you would click forward with masking and create a title for it, a description and keywords. So it take, it's, a, it's a little bit more of a step, but why it's great is that when they see it, they really think that that's the name of the site and they will spread the word and tell others about that name, right? Like that name of the site. So anyway, we're just doing this really quickly as this is just a video to show you how to get this done. And then we're gonna go ahead and click save. And now it says that the features may be unavailable while we process your updates. Some updates require confirmation. Please check your inbox for a possible confirmation email. While I find that confirmation emails really don't come, uh, you know, you can, you can check for it. And now you see the domain. I've got my affiliate link that I want that going to is added right there in the forwarding. You guys see all of that? Yes, it's lovely. Now that was really easy. So you can register a domain name and forward it in this section right here to that affiliate link that you want to promote. Now, although they say it'll only take like 15 minutes, I forgot what they said, how long it would take for the changes to show up, I wanna go ahead and test it and see if the changes will show up now. So, all right, I went to Google, right, google.com, and now what I'm gonna do is up in the URL up here, I'm gonna type in www dot blog, blogquickstart.com. And remember, I didn't set up a website or anything like that. This is just going to my affiliate link because I want people to go, like on my PowerPoint when I'm gonna do a presentation, telling people how to set up their blog real quick and I want to get commission from a hosting company, I'm gonna say, hey, go to blogquickstart.com. They've got the best prices, blah, blah, blah. All right. So let's see if the forwarding is working and it's working. This is exactly where I wanted it to go. And it's going, as you can see right there to that affiliate link, a2hosting.com forward slash question mark AID IIJ. If you remember when we registered the domain name, that's where it said it was gonna send the forwarding to. Do you guys remember that? So I'm back over here at domain diving, logged into my account. I'm scrolling down to the forwarding. There it is, it matches right up. So we can just check real quick to make sure everything matches up and voila, we, we see that it's a perfect match. It's going over to that page. Now anyone who signs up from blogquickstart.com will, will get a, I will get affiliate commission. And do you see how that's much better than putting on my PowerPoint presentation? Go to www.a to hosting.com question mark AID equals, yeah, they're not gonna go to that. So you have to register a do, new domain name and forward it to your affiliate link. All right, guys, I hope this was useful. To just recap, we went to domaindiving.com. We set up an account, let me go back. We set up an account at Domain Diving. We searched for our domain name that was available. We picked one that was available. We purchased it. We made sure that we got the privacy settings 
And then we logged into our account, we managed the domain name, we forwarded it to our affiliate link, and then we tested it to make sure that it's working, everything was working great. Let me know if you have any questions and go ahead and test it out, try it out.